Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Joseph Fakori. I'm a pharmacist here at Andy's Pharmacy in Detroit, Michigan. It's April the 2nd, and it's an understatement to share with you how stressful it's been the past few weeks. But I think we've managed to reach out to our patients. We have a lot of elderly and convince them to allow us to deliver their prescriptions. And that is exactly what we've been doing. Uh, we normally have a large amount of deliveries on a regular day, but we've pushed to get it to 100%. And we've been successful. I have a coworker, Perry. Our, he's out there delivering all day. And whatever's left, I chip in and help him. But it's the bulk of it is his doing. Keeping people in the house is probably the safest thing we can do now since we there's a lot of unknowns. But we do know that the least amount of contact with people, the better. Especially when you have several patients like ours, if not the majority, that have chronic illness. So that's what we've done so far. Uh, in addition to keeping Perry and myself safe, we've uh, carried some gloves. We've got some regular masks, and we've been fortunate to have some N95 masks that we use in appropriate circumstances. Every, in addition to that, in the pharmacy here in the lobby, uh, Perry wipes the counters, the doors, probably every day, every other day, depending on how busy he is. I found the most important thing, and I can't stress it enough, is to keep your patients at home, but if you don't follow through and communicate with them and keep them calm and share with them information and help them understand information, they will be anxious and probably feel obliged to go out. So luckily, being here for so many years, over 30 years, uh, most of our customers have my cell phone and Perry's cell phone number. So whenever there's something they see at, on the news or they have a question or they need something, over-the-counter item, they call me. It's not unlikely that I get a call while I'm having dinner with my wife and girls, which is fine. That's what we want. We have that type of relationship, and I believe that, strongly believe that that's what's kept our patients safe. So every other day now that we've become in this routine, I, I get here early, 7 a.m., and get everything ready. I reach out to patients who have prescriptions that need to be picked up, and we go there. We pick the prescriptions up for those doctors who aren't utilizing eScribe yet. Um, what else? Most of our patients get their information from the local news. So I don't need to tell you how anxious they get after they listen to the local news. Here in Detroit, our mayor's been great and uh, having live conferences every day. And he gives tangible information uh, that we can share with our patients if they miss those press conferences. That's basically what we've been doing so far. Uh, we keep up to date with the information. We insist that our patients stay home, and we deliver. It's added a little extra work, or a lot of work, delivery-wise. However, that uh, maintains that everybody stays safe. Um, I hope everyone out there is uh, understanding of the significance and how dangerous things can be, because there's a lot of stuff we just don't know. And the pharmacist here, my colleagues down the street, the CVS pharmacist, the Walgreens pharmacist, everyone is doing a phenomenal job. We communicate with one another. We uh, give each other's kind of a pep talk or advice to see, you know, what we can do differently. And the number one thing we've all agreed on, delivery, delivery, delivery. I uh, hope that helps. I hope everyone's safe. And uh, till next time. You guys have a wonderful day.